What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rich Nice back again. So today we're out in the garage. We're working on Flash. As you can see, uh, we have a bunch of uh, car amps. We have a uh, Smart 3K. And then we also have three 800.4s. So the problem with these are you really can't set the crossovers the way you want to. So what we've got is we've got this Stetson that's Stetson uh, ST X2848 and it's a uh, basically an electronic crossover so we can set our crossover for our speakers so I've written all those down uh, we're running SCAR uh, FSX outside and then we're running some SCAR um, TX in the middle inside uh, along with some uh, DS18 tweeters and some uh, Type R uh, Alpines. So we're going to set these up so that they are actually matching what the speaker actually can produce. So we'll get a better sound quality. In order to do that, we have to hook this up first. So let's unbox it. So inside here, just like regular tar amps that you would normally get, uh, this is a basically an eight uh, channel. So you have your inputs. Let's take it out the plastic so you can see better. Hang on one sec. Let me get this out the plastic. All right, I got it out the plastic. So basically, you have your inputs here. Then you have channel one through eight. Now you can make two of these channels on the same for one amp. Or you can make them individual and run eight different amps basically is what you can do with this uh, up here you have your rem your battery your ground your remote and then you have your sequencer and basically what this does it allows the amps to turn on two seconds apart so you don't get that annoying pop that sometimes you get if you don't have a good ground or some other issues so uh, this is definitely a good thing to have but you can also turn this off if you don't need it so I think we'll probably turn ours off. Um, and basically, we'll get to working this thing and wiring it up. And I think we're gonna put it right here. This is where my epicenter used to be. Uh, so I took my epicenter out. And then we're gonna put this basically right here. Uh, but before we can do that, we need to go ahead and hook it up and make sure that the uh, we get the settings correct on the inside. So let me wire this thing up and uh, go from there. All right, YouTube, we got it uh, hooked up. I use my ferrule tools and put the crimps on it. Uh, put in some braided hose. It runs down and hooks into uh, our Smart 3 to our power ground and remote. Um, and then we took our RCAs from this 4K we're going to use that to power everything. We got different RCAs that go from here out to each of the four amps. Uh, so when you first uh, turn it on, it lights up. Not sure if y'all can really see that, but it does say English. And then you have your sequencers up here. One, two, three. And these will come on. Uh, you can set these for like every two seconds, every three seconds, four seconds, or whatever in between each amp. Uh, so in order to use this, you basically um, turn your knob. As you can see, the language is Portuguese, uh, Espanol. So we're going to select English and you push. Once you do that, the language is loaded. Then it will have your uh, main screen. Then if you turn your knob, all right, so you have auto processing. Uh, I went too fast. Your graphic equalizer presets. These are your um, loud, bass, rock, pop, hip hop, those type of things. You have your crossover presets. You have save, load, 
copy channel. And basically what this means is, remember I was telling you earlier, you have one through eight. You, so you can copy one and two and only have to set your crossover settings for one. And then it'll do for both and two. Same thing for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you can set them all the same if you want. Uh, it's just up to you. Uh, you have security so you can set this so nobody messes with your settings. You have your tools, your screensaver, uh, language, and that's pretty much about it. Um, so we're going to go into crossovers. So I'm going to make crossover one or crossover for one and two for our four channel that's on the uh, on our scar speakers on the outside. Uh, so basically, you push the button. So it says one out. You can make it a tweeter, driver, subwoofer, those type of things. And if you hold the button, the big button, you'll go back. So those are your presets. So it's already set for um, tweeters, subwoofers, drivers, all that good stuff. So uh, let's see. Going to tools. This is your tool generator, your frequency sweep, pink noise, uh, and all this stuff is just for tuning your speakers, especially if you have a, uh, a mic and a scope and all that good stuff. So there's tools, screensaver language, sequencer. We're gonna turn we're gonna turn it off. As you can see the light went off. Go to two, turn it off. As you can see the light goes off. Go to three, turn it off. And here's where I was saying you can set the time, two seconds, three seconds, two and a half seconds, three seconds, three and a half, four seconds. So again, it'll turn your amps off uh, four seconds apart or turn them on four seconds apart, so on and so forth. And that's pretty much it. So. I have the uh, frequencies written down for each of the speakers because uh, the amps, uh, the 800.4s are only good. Uh, they're 90 hertz high pass, 90 hertz low pass. That's it. They're, they're fixed. You can't change them. <clears throat> so this will allow us to set our frequency the way we want. So let me figure out what's going on and I'll be back. All right, YouTube, uh, we're back. So we'll go over to crossover presets just like i mentioned earlier those are your uh, presets for your bass treble uh, tweeters your mid bass drivers those type of things uh, but if we go into audio actually let's go into copy so in copy if you want to copy one and two you'll press your button which is here It'll say destination. So this is where you want to copy one, two. So we'll select two and we'll click the button. It'll say, do you want to copy? You say yes. So basically now one and two are both going to be the same frequency. So in order to set that frequency, uh, we'll go into audio processing. And there's a whole bunch of more features in here that we're not really going to get into because I don't know what they do. So I'm not going to bore you trying to figure it out. <coughs> uh, let's go back. All right. So in here, oh, I went too far. 
But in your graphic equalizer, you have your flat, your loudness, your bass boost, mid bass, treble, uh, powerful, electronic, hip hop, the same thing you would have on your normal radio type of stuff. Um, let's go back to audio processing. Go in here. All right, so right here is crossover. So if you click this, this is where you can come in and set your, your crossovers. So I written mine, I wrote mine down um, for output one, which is one and two, we're gonna use for, like I mentioned, the speakers are on the outside pods and my slingshot. Uh, and their high uh, pass is 100 hertz to 8,000 kilohertz. So we got this at 100 hertz. And basically the way you switch it is you push your button. Then you can go to low pass, high pass. Push it again. It'll go over to, and this is where you select whether you want it on or off, B12, B14, L48. You know, all those things that I really don't understand just yet. <clears throat> but at least start out with B12 that will turn this crossover frequency on for this particular set of uh, two RCAs um, if you push your button again oh let's turn make sure we turn that on push our button and here's where you can change your Hertz our like I said ours for our outside pods are nine uh, 100 Hertz so we'll set it to 100 uh, this is output one. Uh, output two, like I said, we already copied earlier. So we'll go over here and now we'll go to low pass. Low pass is the same thing. You know, you have your different hertz. You know, you can set it to whatever you want. So ours is 8,000, so it'll take a while to get there, but you know, you just turn it down. Oh, I messed that up. Go back to 100. All right, get on low pass. There we go. So on low pass again, ours is 8,000 kilohertz. So that's where it's set. And you do that for each of your speakers. Uh, particularly uh, just depending on what their particular um, frequency is. So let me get these set up and we'll be back. All right, YouTube. Took me a hot minute to set everything, but there's frequency one. The uh, high pass is uh, 100 hertz. Low pass is 8,000. If we go to two, high pass is 100 hertz. Low pass is 8,000. If we go to three, high pass is 80 hertz. Low pass is 10,000. Four, High pass is 145, low pass is 20,000. If you go to five, high pass is 2,000, low pass is 20,000. Six, high pass is 65, low pass is 22,000 which is the max, I think the old speakers go to 40,000 hertz, kilohertz, so anyway. Uh, and we go to seven, that's 58, cause this is our sub, seven and eight, so. Uh, and our Smart 3 only has one input for RCAs. Uh, all the rest of them have four inputs. So uh, this amp right here, is for our outside pods. This amp right here is for our inside pods. Uh, the amp that's right there on the wall 
is for our DS18 tweeters and our uh, Type R speakers just in our side arm pods. And then the Smart 3 that's down there, it's for our massive Toros that's uh, in our SSB box. So uh, I think eventually I will get those replaced. I think I'll go with uh, Jonathan Taylor, uh, Slingshot Audio, and get some upgraded boxes to get some more bass out of it. But until then, everything is set. And one thing I do like about these Say, for instance, if you don't want to play the outside pods, you can just hold this blue button. It'll turn red and it turns them off. And this way, this will allow you to tune your speakers uh, without blowing anything, without having to unhook other stuff or, you know, vice versa. <clears throat> so if you just want to hear your highs, you can hear your highs. If you want to hear just your subs, you can hear just your subs. So pretty cool setup so I will get this mounted and we'll get some wires and RCA's run uh, and go from there and we'll see how this thing actually sounds <clears throat> all right YouTube we uh we got everything in got our wires run um, everything is looking good so when we turn it on you'll see it'll power up Let's turn this down so I don't get copyrighted just yet. Oh, one thing I did want to mention in here, as you can see, we got everything muted. Um, once you go into auto audio processing, uh, you'll have your routing and routing is where you can route one and eight together, one and seven, or whatever the case may be. Uh, so if you don't want one and two to sound the same, if you want one and four, you can do it through routing. Uh, we talked about the crossover phase. It's just basically 180 degrees in or out. And basically if you have your speaker mounted with the uh, magnet inside the box or the magnet on the outside of the box, it's kind of your phase. Your limiter is kind of like your clip meter. So if you set that, it'll make it so your speakers will cut off so you won't blow them. It's just kind of a little safe protection. Uh, gain, you can turn your gains up without having to touch your actual amps. You can do it from here. Uh, you basically, you just go in and say your tweeters are too you know, ear piercing. You want to turn them down a couple of dB. You can do it right there without having to take all my seats back out and all that good stuff just to get to the amps. Uh, and then you can mute. As you can see, I got everything muted. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So let me see if I can find some copyright uh, music and we'll play with some of these buttons. All right, YouTube, as you can see, we have some uh, copy free music. So YouTube, don't be trying to uh, monetize me. So anyway, we're gonna turn our outside pods on. You can see. So this is the uh, driver's side. Now we're gonna turn the inside pods on. YouTube as you can see we have some uh, copy free music so YouTube don't be trying to uh, monetize me so anyway we're gonna turn our outside pods on you can see so this is the uh, driver's side now we're gonna turn the inside pods on Tweeters on. 
Alright YouTube, as you can see, we have some uh, copy free music, so YouTube, don't be trying to uh, monetize me. So anyway, we're going to turn our outside pods on, as you can see. So this is the uh, driver's side, now we're going to turn the inside pods on. tweeters on and now we're going to turn our uh, scar mpx's on our leos as you can see we did not use the subwoofer outputs and the reason being is i wanted to be able to turn my bass up and down as i need it and i couldn't do that with this uh unless i ran a wire from here up to the input of my bass knob and then back down to to the subwoofer amp and all that other good stuff so uh since i didn't want to do that and i will wanted to be able to use flash uh, his head is actual base knob as you can see it turns he does have a voltmeter on his chest so uh, Overall good voltage. I'm sitting at 12.9 and that's resting uh, vehicle is not started so Overall, I think it's a good investment uh, It was like hundred and forty nine bucks or something like that on on Amazon 149 bucks um, I'll put the link in the description as always. As always, thank you for liking, subscribe, hit the bell so you get on the next uh, notification anytime we do a project. Uh, we got a, some big things coming for the summer if we can stand the heat. So, as always, much love, peace.